Okay, we'll start again. Um, approach your patients in a friendly manner, manner and make them feel comfortable. Identify your patient. Um, make sure you apply your tourniquet three to four inches above the selected site. Make sure you ask them to make a fist. Prepare their arm or clean it with alcohol prep and let it dry for 30 to 60 seconds. Make sure you anchor your vein. That means just hold it in place with your finger or your thumb. Needles should be an angle of 15 to 30 degrees. Make sure you underline that with the bevel side up. Once you start seeing blood flow, you remove your tourniquet, then remove your needle. Once the needle is removed, press down on the gauze to avoid hematoma. So you take out, you take off your tourniquet, remove your needle, and put gauze on it. Check that bleeding is stopped. Dispose of your materials, mix, and make sure you label. If you're not labeling these tubes, we're, we'll be in big trouble, and you don't label them beforehand, um, something may happen. So you don't want to do that. You must have a requisition form, which all it is is a, a question. Um, or an order, I should say, for the patient. This is the types of tests that you will be having um, or extracting from the patient. So you are needing a requisition form. So it's only requesting you to draw these types of tests, and you will have to know what test goes in what tubes. Make sure you're going to have to label them, and it depends on the requisition form and the labels. Requisition form is just an order to say, let's draw these type tests. The label is to label the test tubes that you just draw the blood from. And it depends on where you work at, what information they want. Okay, and that was your venipuncture. Now we can talk about your capillary puncture, which all it is is your finger stick. They got a little picture there of a finger stick, and a lancet is in their hand. That lancet is just... Um, a fancy name for that little needle that's in those little cartridges, but they call it a lancet. They also have one called a monojet monoletter. Make sure you underline that. It All it is is a safety device used for capillary blood collection. It's the same thing as a lancet. They're going to call it a monojet monoletter, and that's just a specific one. For the capillary puncture, make sure you also know and underline that it is a dermal puncture and or finger stick. They all are the same. Capillary puncture, dermal puncture, finger stick. We're all calling them the same thing. They all are capillary punctures. Um, this method of specimen collection is usually chosen if small amounts of blood are needed. So if we need small amounts of blood, we can do a capillary puncture, which just is just that little bitty needle that pokes a hole in your finger. The penetration depth should be no less than 2.0. For newborns, 2.0 millimeters. So for newborns, the penetration depth should be no or, or should be less than 2.0. Um, blood collected via capillary puncture is composed of blood from capillaries, arterioles, venules, as well as some tissue fluids. When performing a skin puncture, it is important to wipe off the first drop of blood that is contaminated with tissue fluids. Underline that. We're going to wipe off the first drop of blood because it's contaminated with tissue fluids. We don't want tissue fluids. You can't help it. You just stuck that person. But that is why we drop, wipe the first drop away. And it might have a little alcohol in it too that might mess up the readings. You know you need some equipment. So you, we need gauze pads, a blood lancet. All that is is the sticker. It's got that little needle in it. Some slides, alcohol pads, or um, sticks, we call them, that we can put them into the machine. This is a little stick. The procedure, you want to prepare your supplies. Identify your patient. It's always, always, always before you do anything. Make sure you select the site for venipuncture, or for here, it's for capillary puncture. And normally, they use the ring finger. finger. So, preferred site for a capillary puncture is your ring finger. Make sure you underline that. Um, the cut that you make will be oriented across the fingerprint lines. Across your fingerprint lines. Underline that. And make sure we already know to wipe the first drop of blood. Once we get that first drop off, then we put the blood where it needs to go. And then 
we apply pressure. Dispose of your materials, mix and label tubes, and deliver it to the library. And y'all know I meant laboratory. Then you have a requisition form, which is the same as all blood draws, which contains all the information. Sometimes you'll have to fill that information afterwards and tell them what time that you took the blood and who you are. Labels, you're going to have to label, label, label. Always, always. Um, depends on what they 